Meteorologist Chris Haddings back here once again, giving you some more details on what's going to happen with the snow at the end of the weekend toward the first part of next week. But a little bit of active weather to talk about for today. We did issue a high wind warning for the Cody foothills as well as the Absorca as this goes into effect now pretty much until about 5 a.m. on Sunday morning. But pretty much across much of the area, could be at least breezy conditions for many areas. And a lot of areas seeing downright windy conditions. The uh, sized winds obviously here around the Cody foothills, but... Other areas you could see pretty good winds, the favored locations, Muddy Gap over toward Casper, south side of Casper, could see some isolated gusts to about 60 miles per hour, those favorite areas along Wyoming Boulevard, as well as around Hat 6 Road, for example. Much of the I-80 corridor, 30, 40 mile per hour winds, but just about everybody, most areas, could see a wind gust to 20 or 30, so hang on to your toupees if you wear one. I don't, at least not yet. I am getting old, though. So as we time out the impacts uh, for uh, the expected snow as we head toward the uh, Weekend, I should say the confidence levels. Very high chance of uh, very cold temperatures. That's just about 100%, so for certain for that. Travel problems, high chance of that. Now, where the any road closures, we can't predict that right now, but there could be a few depending on how things set up. Timing of the snow, a little bit more confidence, at least on the outside of the snow, so we bump it up to medium. But for uh, snowfall amounts, Still a, a little uh, certainty as far as where the heaviest snow is going to fall, especially as, like I said before, this is a banded snow with a front coming in, so it could be some very big variations across local areas. So stay tuned on that. We'll give you some chances on the snow, though, toward the end of the briefing. So as we take a look at the high temperature change, this makes me shiver just looking at it. See, many areas, especially east of the divide, see temperature changes. This is between Sunday and Tuesday. 40 degrees common, many areas 50 degrees. Wouldn't surprise me to see a few areas 55, 60 degree temperature change as far as high temperatures from the highs on Sunday when it'll still be mild. And Tuesday when we get to the coldest temperatures. So as we're timing out the snow coming in, you can see uh, coming into the north later Sunday afternoon, could be some snow up, say up around Yellowstone, especially during the morning hours, but many of the lower elevations holding up to later Saturday, Sunday afternoon, I should say. Now, most areas across the area, if you have to get anything done through about sunset on Sunday, you should be okay with no snow coming in. Then it'll come into the Bighorn Basin, the southern areas during the evening hours. Places like Riverton, Lander, Casper, holding off say till about 9 or 10 o'clock on uh, Sunday evening. Then after midnight across southern Wyoming, including Kemmerer, Rock Springs, and that includes Interstate 80 as well. Now, uh, some uh, probabilities for the snow. I'm not going to give you the actual amounts we think because it's a little bit too early, but... Just about everybody here has a pretty good chance of seeing at least an inch of snow out of this system. But not a lot of moisture with it, so as we bump this up to percent chance of four inches, best chance of that will be across eastern areas. That's been kind of the trend this year. It looks like it is going to continue. Maybe from Cash, we're up to about Buffalo, 50% chance or greater. Also across the western mountains, it will snow for a longer period of time here. Now, anywhere else, pretty much less than a one in four chance of seeing four inches or more of snow. So more of a nuisance uh, storm as far as snowfall totals. But impacts, it could be a lot because this will be a powdery snow and it'll blow around a lot. And this is the likely maximum amount of snow, about a 10% chance of getting uh, this amount of snow. Highest amounts over here across the west, the Tetons could pick up over a foot over about a day and a half. And lower elevations, I-25, basically Buffalo down to Casper, 6 to 8 inches here. Bighorn, the Bighorn Basin, anywhere from about 2 to 4. Wind River Basin, Lander Foothills, anywhere from about 3 to 6 inches. And across the I-80 corridor, anywhere from about four to six inches, the likely high end about. And some resources here, weather, you know where to go, most accurate weather in the state, weather.gov slash R-A-W, road conditions on the web, railroad.info. You want to call them on the phone, 511 if you're in state, if you're out of state, 188 Wild Road. And for webcams, you want to take a look for yourself. This is all across the state, not just here, weather.gov slash R-A-W, go to local programs, and then webcams by route. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy your weekend.